Welcome to this video, which is about Charlotte Mason picture study approach to Irish artists. In our home, we use a classical Charlotte Mason approach to home education. And there are lots of wonderful resources to support families using this approach, particularly in the US. But I live in Ireland, and naturally, I want to include studies of my country. So this video is about Charlotte Mason style picture studies for Irish artists. I love the way the Charlotte Mason approach spends a number of weeks focusing on just one artist and children get to really know that artist and they build a connection with that artist. But I was having difficulty finding this information, the information I needed to do a Charlotte Mason approach to Irish artists. So I spent quite a bit of time researching, I've asked lots of really helpful people, thank you to you guys. And I wanted to share this information back. So, well, doing a video is a little outside my comfort zone, but I just felt like art is just so visual. And so I just thought this was the best way of sharing what I've learned. And for me, I personally find it really helpful to see inside books. And I think this is just a way of getting a good overview. And for me, that's helpful to be able to see where I'm going. So I use a lot of Ambleside online resources, including their picture study, Artist Rotation, which has many international artists, and it has lists of six artworks for each artwork. So I thought I'd just give a little bit, a few moments about what that entails. So I really like the picture study aids from Humble Place. So they're free download, and then the first few pages she talks about a Charlotte Mason style picture study approach and how you go about it. It's just, just to spend 10 minutes each week with a painting. And she has a little bit about the artist and then she'll spend time on each artwork. So it's just a smaller bit. Each week you just do one painting and a little bit about the painting. I like the Waterhouse one because she talks about the poems and that relate to each of the artworks. And then looking at Vermeer, so here we I paint I've printed out these A4 and I'd put one a week on the on the wall. So each week we'd get another painting up. And then I go and look and see if there's any paintings by our artwork by our artist in the National Gallery of Ireland. Um, and this one is Vermeer woman writing a letter with her maid so we can then go off and see this artwork so i would love that sort of resource for ireland but in the meantime i'm just trying to work out which irish artists should we look at and which paintings by those artists if i wanted to select six paintings so this is quite a different approach from using a book like this discover irish art the national gallery of ireland the same author ha also has 50 works of Irish art you need to know. Um, so in this book, the paintings are in chronological order. So this is the list of artwork in this book. So this book is out of print, but I believe her other one is, is still in print. Um, just to give you an idea. But the issue for me is that in this book, you just have one artwork by, by the artist. So it's kind of difficult to really get to know any of the artists when you're only seeing one painting by that, art, by that artist. So I come across this book and I think it's really helpful. This particular book is out of print, unfortunately. Um, so if you can get a copy, that'd be great. But if you can't, I think that the information is really good because you can go and look these artists and, and these paintings up on the National Gallery. The National Gallery of Ireland actually has two different um, web pages for looking at their artworks. There's the one that's linked from their website and then there's another one which I'll link to um, underneath which, where you can see larger images which is a bit better for picture study and then you can also print them out for educational purposes. So some of these artists in this book would be like John Lavery, Walter Osborne, Roderick O'Connor. I'm going to spit down to Paul Henry. 
because I think Paul Henry is a really good artist to do an approach for your first Irish artist. He focuses on Irish um, people, Irish landscapes. Here we've got Launch in the Colour, The Potato Digger, Connemara, Lakeside Cottages. So the National Gallery of Ireland had a really lovely exhibition called Shaping Ireland Landscapes in Irish Art and they had a primary schools resource um, they, they do some lovely resources on their website this one's particularly useful for this style and that here's a, another one of Paul Henry as well as some look and respond questions um, links you know, to poetry and um, some videos if you wanted to extend them I mean, for a true Charlotte Mason one you'd just be spending 10 minutes just looking at the painting but you know if you want to delve into a little bit more this is our local Irish artists so the first artist in the book here is Sir John Lavery this is actually a, a painting by him opposite the contents um, the first page for each artist in this book describes the artist and then um, after that each artwork has a discussion about that particular artwork. So I would be putting this book up on a, a book stand or on a ledge or sometimes they've even put the book up on the radiator to stay open for the week. There's certainly a lot of paintings by Lavery. So, so this painting of Lady Lavery would be a popular one by him, and also this one. So then moving on to Osborne, I think this one is a particularly nice painting by him. It's called The Doll's Stool. And there's also this one, the Lustre Jug. You can also get sets of post of um, cards from the National Gallery where they have five different artworks, ten note cards, so there's two of each. But you don't always know if they're in or not. Um, there is one issue with this book that has uh, three nudes, so just um, think about how you might want to handle that. When I was looking into Irish artists, um, one of the difficulties was sort of what what is an Irish artist. So, for example, Roderick O'Connor got was born here, but then he moved to France. So his paintings are mostly in France. Um, and that gets more of a problem as you get more modern because people are just moving around and less of a specific place They're much more mobile and instantaneous now something else I really like about the book was having studied Paul Henry then you could move over and study his wife Grace Henry uh, you can see her artwork is very different from his and I think that's really nice to sort of talk about with your children Yeats of course is very popular and very prolific and every book has a different painting that somebody loves by Yeats. So here's one painting that I've got from the National Gallery and another one by him. So I'm sure you'll be recognizing some of these paintings and, uh, and have your own favorite. And I think that's really, a, really helpful when you're actually picking which artist to do for your first artist is to just, just to pick one that you really you really love, really like, because your enthusiasm for that artist is going to shine through to your children when you're teaching. It's so much, I mean, it's much nicer to be teaching something that you personally love and enjoy. So that certainly would influence me in which ones I'm going to choose. 
Um, so open is another beautiful painting by him. And the lovely thing about selling these paintings is going to go and see them. You know, just go and enjoy these. And you know, it is interesting when you get there and seeing how they how different they are in real life. You know, the size can make such a difference. Um, you can see how different his style is in different paintings. William John Leach. Also, this painting is also by Leach. So it's a well-known. Uh, surprised the, the author didn't discuss that one. And then we move on to Sean Keating. So again, the National Gallery had a painting by Sean Keating in this. Uh, Pack for school children. Um, then we're starting to get much more modern. Um, this cubism. Nora McGuinness comes up quite a bit in other art books where I'd seen her before. Um, I hadn't actually heard of John Luke or Holland Middleton until I got this book. There's um, a lovely set on the National Gallery of Ireland of paintings that have been studied on the leaving cert, which is also really helpful. There's only um, between one and maximum three paintings per artist. So, and I wanted six per artist. So there's another famous artist by Louis Le Fossu. So in the Great Irish Artists book, it's looking at Lavery, so it's going from the late 1800s. If you wanted to do some artist studies on some artists from before that period, some nice ones to look up would be George Barrett, um, the marriage of Aoife and Strongbow is just a very beautiful painting to go and see. In the National Gallery, so you should look at it, talk about it before you go and see. Um, Burton has some lovely paintings, so romantic. And then you've got Nathaniel Hone, the younger, and, and this one is by the elder. And another Irish artist that I think is really lovely for your first study, picture study, is Harry Clark. There's this lovely book that Jessica O'Donnell from Hugh Lane made. So here you can see the whole artwork, this beautiful piece of stained glass work that they have in Hugh Lane. And there's lots of detail in these images. So for each one of those images, she talks about them and how they relate to the poem. I think it's a really lovely book to go through um, before you go and visit the Hugh Lane. I personally think Hugh Lane is a really lovely gallery to visit for your first visit with children because it's it's a much smaller gallery and it has some really amazing artwork in there. So it's just it's just really nice. Um, this I bought from their bookshop. So in addition to that beautiful artwork by Harry Clark. There's, he did some illustrations for Hans Christian Andersen's fairy tales. So this one is from the library and you can see the beautiful colour tints um, at the back of the book. It goes through some of his paintings and you can go and see those paintings then afterwards in the National Gallery. 
Um, and there's the National Gallery of Ireland also has some other images by him, for example, the Mad Prince. It's also a nice artist to go and study if you are further, if you're down the country, because he has beautiful artwork in lots of churches around Ireland. You can go and look on a website um, about Harry Clark. There's one devoted just to him where it lists all the different artworks by him all across Ireland. And of course, you know, a, a book like this, you can read the stories while your child has spent some time looking at the particular artwork. Um, you can buy a set of um, note cards um, from National Gallery when they are in stock. And it's also nice when you've got that. So getting to know an artist um, means that then later on you see their art somewhere else. So we saw this Irish poetry book and instantly recognized, oh look, there's uh, Harry Clark. So this Irish Art A Concert History by Bruce Arnold was recommended to me. Uh, it goes much further back, so it's looking at Book of Kells, Book of Durrow, um, some beautiful of his um, older sculpture. And it's got a lot of really interesting information and detail in it. Um, unfortunately for me, the problem was that the, the artwork in here is, a lot of it is in black and white. So it certainly gives you an idea of what to go and look for. And it certainly gives you some lovely background. But it wasn't quite what I was looking for in terms of learning about Irish artists. Uh, using, you know, for doing a Charlotte Mason style approach. Another really lovely book that I think is well worth buying um, is Discover Art at Dublin City Gallery, Hugh Lane, by Jessica O'Donnell. Uh, it's an introduction to art for young people. Now, not all the art in this book is going to be Irish art, but I think, as I said, I think Hugh Lane is just a lovely gallery to go and see with children. Some of these sections are online on the, on the Hugh Lane Gallery website. It's a, it's, the book is thematic, but the nice thing about it is it gives you the opportunity to sort of see the artwork that you can go and see in the gallery before you get there. And if you're following something like Ambleside, you can then go and see, oh, you can go and see Renoir, we've been studying Renoir, we've been studying Dega, and you can have a, an idea of what the artworks are available as Francis Bacon Studio. Before you get there, this is a lovely painting of Lady Gregory, who wrote just some lovely Irish myths. Um, there's an, a Manet. So this book is obviously full of art activities and craft activities, which isn't um, part of the art appreciation I was trying to focus on. But just to give you an idea of what's available, there's a painting by Leach that we saw in the other book. And Nora McGuinness. Alton, Grace Kenny, Yeats Shop, arts that we saw in the other book. I think it's just a really nicely done um, book. Manet, Yeats again. They've got some really nice sculpture in the Hugh Lane. Really interesting ones. That one is by Dega. Another Yeats. As you get through the book, it gets more modern. Um, Harry Clark's one that we have the whole book about. This is a beautiful artwork. It's two meters long. It's just beautiful to look at when you're there. We've got Lavery and Osborne again. Another painting by Leach. Um, and then on the Amble side, we would have done. Gustave Coubert, we would have done Monet. So we can go and see paintings by those artists. And that's getting more abstract. Okay, so 
art activities based on the artwork. So if that was something you wanted to do, well then maybe no no. So there's they've got one by Paul Henry. I was saying is a I think is a good artist, Irish artist to start with. Um, and then they start getting on to some of the digital art photographs and they have video film projections. Thank you for watching. I really hope that this has been helpful to you. Thank you to my wonderful little daughter who's been helping me here. And I hope that this helps you to just enjoy and get to really know these Irish artists and so that you can really enjoy Irish art and be inspired to head off to your nearest gallery and just, just enjoy what we have in our wonderful country. Bye.